Hello students, Anupal sir once again and in this video I will discuss some important thing regarding your heat of neutralization and hydrogen bonding part. Okay, so let's start. Heat of neutralization means that one mole of H plus is getting neutralized by one mole of OH minus and the amount of heat released that is known as your heat of neutralization. And in kilocalorie, if one mole H plus or NaOH is there and HCl is there, then what will be the answer? That forms NaCl H2O. This HOH will form H2O and NaCl. And the heat of neutralization is here minus 13.7 kilocalorie per mole. Okay. So when one mole H plus is getting neutralized by one mole OH minus the amount of heat release that is known as your heat of neutralization. In kilojoule the unit is minus 57.1 kilojoule per mole and in kilocalorie unit is minus 13.7 kilocalorie per mole. Okay. But actually the heat of neutralization means what that means the heat required for the ionization of the molecules that means to form the ions plus the heat that required for the neutralization of H plus and OH minus. So the sum total of this term is known as our heat of neutralization. But if the acid or base is strong enough then they are completely ionized in the solution that is why uh, we don't provide this portion so for strong acid and strong base this portion is equals to zero for for we can write here for strong acid and for strong base okay so for strong acid and strong base this value is equal to the heat of neutralization and this value is this one that is why we can write this but for weak acid they don't have a tendency to break down easily and form H plus and OH minus that is for weak acid we need to consider this part that some amount of heat is to be given to ionize those substances that is why if this value for weak acid or weak base like for HCN if this value is equals to x and this value is minus 13.7 so if this is 2 then the amount will be if this is 2 then the amount will be what minus 11.7 kilocalorie per mole if it is 3 then it will be minus 10.7 kilocalorie per mole so the value will be in increasing order okay that is why as the value of heat of neutralization becomes more and more that means it indicates nothing but the weakness of the acidity or basicity that is why the question comes if for HA acid the heat of neutralization is given here minus 10.2 kilocalorie per mole for HB if it is given minus 10.4 kilocalorie per mole and for HC if it is given minus 13.7 kilocalorie per mole then and the question comes in joint this is very common question that arrange them according to their acidity then what will be the answer the answer will be your HC as this value is much more lower so hc will be greater than hb will be greater than ha that will be the correct order that is hc greater than hb greater than ha from this value we can predict this because i have told you earlier that as the value becomes more and more that means this value will be more and more so we need to more uh, we need to provide this heat of ionization for weak acid and for weak bases that is why the value will be in decreasing order the next question related to this part that is your if by mixing of one mole NaOH 
with one mole HCl and the temperature rise as 20 degree centigrade then find out temperature rise when 100 moles of NaOH mixed with 100 moles of HCl the question I repeat once again that is if by mixing one mole of one mole of HCl and the question is given one mole of NaOH and it is given at which temperature it is mixing and the temperature rise is 20 degree centigrade the temperature rise is 20 degree centigrade but if the question comes that when 100 mole HCl and 100 mole NaOH is there 100 mole NaOH are mixed then what will be the temperature rise we know that the formula delta Q equals to what delta Q equals to your NCP delta T this formula is known to us okay this is the change of heat this is specific heat and this is the temperature difference so for one mole what is the value for one mole neutralization we know the value is minus 13.7 kilocalorie per mole so for n mole if there is n mole then the value will be how much then the value will be n into 13.7 and that equals to total amount of heat and that is equals to ncp delta t so n mole and n mole cancel out and cp portion is constant therefore temperature rise is also same so if one mole hcl and one mole NOH are mixed together then if the temperature rise is 20 degree centigrade then if 100 mole hcl and 100 mole NOH are also mixed then the temperature rise is also same because due to this formula okay so this is your heat of neutralization i will tell you the another part that is if h2so4 and NaOH is given like this that is H2SO4 is there and here NaOH is there okay and this is our heat of neutralization these questions are very much important for your competitive levels that is if one mole H2SO4 one mole then what two mole one mole one mole two mole and two molar two molar okay so from one mole h to so how many h plus we can get two moles of h plus and one mole NaOH how many OH minus we get Na plus and OH minus so if one molar H2SO4 is present, then molar of H plus ions, number of moles of H plus ions will be 2. And if one molar NaOH, then number of OH minus will be 1. So the neutralization, neutralization done by one H plus is getting neutralized by one OH minus. That is why the value will be here minus 13.7 kilocalorie per mole. Okay if 2 molar H, H2SO4 is there then from 1 to 2 so from 2 molar how much H plus will be there 4 H plus and if it is 1 then how much OH minus will be there 1 so neutralization done this 1 H plus is getting neutralized by 1 OH minus that is why the value will also be here same this kilo calorie per mole and if one molar H2SO4 is there, then how many H plus? One molar, two H plus. And from two molar NaOH, we can get two OH minus. So neutralization done. Two H plus is getting neutralized by two OH minus. So here the value will be this into two. And here two molar, four H plus. And here two molar from two molar. 2OH minus so neutralization is also done among 4H plus 2H plus is getting neutralized by 2OH minus so the value will be here also minus 13.7 into 2. So 
if we remember this type of chart and if we clear the our concept regarding heat of neutralization then this type of problem we can solve okay thanks for watching my video thank you